Hi, it's Monday, and you're watching Ryan on Gaze of the Week. Now, if you remember a few weeks ago, I took you on a tour of my new place, and it was empty. It was ugly. It was... Nobody liked it. Nobody liked it that way, especially me. Well, now it's almost finished being furnished and decorated and everything, and I'm a simple kind of guy when it comes to that. So it's not like anything special now, but it's more put together. So I wanted to take y'all on a tour of it. By the way, how fun was last week, Reality TV Week? I want to do another one like that. So thumbs up if you want to see more Reality TV Week, because there's so many shows we could do. So many. So let's start with my um, half bathroom. And then here I just kind of kept an all-white theme. I put in some extra storage space, some dirty laundry. You know how that goes. You do. Um, let's count the soap dispensers as we go along. Soap dispenser, automatic, handless soap dispenser, number one. Hands-free, not handless. You need your hands to dispense soap. Okay, here's the living room. Got some art on the wall. Got a TV. Got some DVDs to watch. And then we move on. The living room's small. This is a one one. Well, a one one and a half. Remember that. So it's not like anything fancy. Here's the kitchen. My mom gave me this for Christmas. It's cute and very homey for a homo. This is my production corner for now where I keep my lights and my tripod. It's going to have a desk eventually and I'm going to get a new desktop computer where I can do all of my editing. An office space if you will. Here's the view. It's really cool. I'm up on a hill. I'm like at the foot of the hills and, and um, right above West Hollywood so you can see the entire city. Well not the entire city but I pretend it's the entire city. But you can see a lot of it. Okay? You can see a lot. Um, let's keep going. These cool bar stools I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. Give it a barbershop look. That's what Scott Wiseman called. Here's my bedroom. I was gonna make it up a little bit before I showed this, but I was like, why not just do impromptu, you know? Yeah, I got out of bed this morning. Well, actually, I just got out of bed now. I was on my laptop doing some work on Facebook, if you know what I mean. There's my closet. It's really cool. It, like, opens up and there's three doors, so... You just slide whichever one you want open. I got a little candle set up over here. Got these cool pictures of flowers from Ikea. Um, here's my king's throne from Only Gay in the World. I didn't know where else to put it. Where am I going to put a king's throne, y'all? Finally, we have the master bathroom. And um, this is soap dispenser number two. I forgot to count number three. Here's the shower. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And let's go back to see soap dispenser number three. Ding, 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 ding. What do you think? Scott Wiseman hates those things. But you know what? Like, when you're in a hurry and your hands are dirty, how convenient is it to just reach your hand out and have soap? Like, y'all, it's such a help. So check it out. Just try it. If you don't believe me, then whatever. You know, so be it. But at least try it. Give it a, give it a chance. Now I'm going to do a little segment that Roland does that I want to borrow because, well, let's face it, I want to be like Roland. Um, comment of the week. I don't do comment of the week, but I can if you like. Let's look at my favorite comment from last week, and it was James Mitchell TV who said, really well written shit there, girl. Smiley face. And I just want to... Take notice of that comment because Scott and I sat and wrote last week's um, reality TV parody out. And Scott Wiseman is hilarious. Super, super funny in, in an abnormal way and um, just very unique. And so I never really know quite what to do with him. And I'm always trying to get him to like sit still and let's put it into writing. Let's let's craft it. Let's let's put it into a format. And we finally did that and I just I love what we came up with and so hopefully you did too. Finally for question of the week, I want to know, we've discussed, you know, changing the the time length of our videos. Like but we want to know from you guys, do you like the videos when they're super short like three minutes? Do you like them when they're five minutes or do you like them when they're longer and like eight to ten minutes? What is your preferred time range of the video? I know it, it depends on the video and how good it is and if it's really good you want more and if it's boring you want less, but if you could put a limit or you know a time range on our videos, what would it be and why? Let us know down below. Thanks for watching, have a fabulous rest of the week and don't forget to watch the rest of the gaze. Okay, bye.